Every year, politicians, writers, and diplomats get together at the Chateau Laurier in Ottawa to honor the best and brightest political authors at the Politics and the Pen Gala. The gala brings together the who's who of Canada's literary and political communities. It's also the largest contribution to the Writers' Trust of Canada. I think this is a tremendous event. Anytime you see politicians, people from the political world, celebrating literature, celebrating the written word for the Writers' Trust, I mean, that's obviously a great night out. Um, there's a lot of great books written about politics every year in Canada. We're voracious readers about politics, uh, I'm, which I'm very grateful for. I think, though, that uh, what is equally important is that you get press and politics with the pen, uh, and what happens is that there is a great uh, exchange of uh, friendships and, and, and coming together. Usually, the, the authors are chasing us, or the press is chasing us, and now's an opportunity for us to chase them, you see. So it's a lot of fun. This is one of the best events of the year here in Ottawa, and it's an opportunity for on a social basis for politicians to interact with the media and with authors. Five authors were up for the Shaughnessy Cohen Award for political writing. The winner receives a $25,000 prize and a jury composed of a journalist, former politician, and an author selected this year's recipient. I think for the, uh, as a politician, we get nourished by the artists, we get nourished by the authors, uh, we get new ideas from authors. So I think uh, this uh, play between the two of us is extremely useful and I think all good politicians uh, listen to what authors are writing uh, to, to, to find new ideas because when you're in politics, quite often you get wrapped up in the day to day, you don't really see the long term. I think it's important to bring them together in a sort of a non-controversial setting and a, a social setting and honoring uh, Shaughnessy is a good way to do it. N not so much confrontation. <laughs> we coexist. The ability to move hearts and minds is so much greater when you have somebody or a group of people with such skills as these folks have. And uh, I know for myself the great authors have always moved me. And, and great authors have written about politics. Uh, give so many more people an access to politics. It's not a shouting match. It can be quite thoughtful. So I think it's fantastic. Well, you know, this is a prize for uh, political writing or writing about uh, public policy and stuff. Um, it'd be nice to think that politicians uh, can read every once in a while and uh, that the writers don't mind mixing with us. So it's, it's always a fun night. But beyond that, of course, it's important to support Canadian writers and Canadian writers who are willing to write about Canada, our history and our politics, are people who also especially deserve support because there's even a smaller audience. If you write, as Margaret Atwood does, for a world audience, you know, you've got a lot more people who are likely to read. When you write a book, of the book that won last year, Richard Gwynn's book on Sir John A. Macdonald, you've limited yourself to Canada. And therefore, Canadians who care about our literature and our culture and our history better go out and buy books. From an in-depth analysis of Canada's health care system to a history of Montreal's experience with amalgamation, this year's nominees cover a wide range of political topics. Being here feels bizarre. Being nominated was a big surprise, but I'm so honored to be in this room with all these people, and, and, and it's a fantastic award, and I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. You know, the more we learn a kind of uh, sort of off the record, you know, aspects to our sometimes fractious political life, the better off we are. Because there are good people on both sides of the floor. There are uh, great people among the journalists here. So it's actually nice to see people hanging out in this way. This year's event was co-hosted by Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Honorable John Baird, and the Governor of the Bank of Canada, Mark Carney. It's a really unique opportunity to celebrate the best in uh, Canadian writing, uh, all in support of a good cause. Author Marcello Di Sintio received the surprise of a lifetime as he was announced as this year's Shaughnessy Cohen Award recipient for his book, Walls, Travels Along the Barricades.